I don't know about you, one of my favourite things, playing around with telephoto lenses, they're always good fun. Do a little bit of papping away. Now, one that I have and the one that we're using for this test is the Sony G lens, which is the 70 to 300 lens with optical steady shot. And there are longer lenses now available for the system. There is a 400 mm 2.8 coming up. But there's also 100 to 400 and if you're using that in APS-C mode you're going to get longer again but what about if we use this lens which is the 70 to 300 in APS-C mode then that would give us 450 albeit at the lower resolution. What I wanted to find out is what's the best way of doing this? We could just take the image like this which is a very pleasant image indeed and we could crop it and that would zoom us in even more. Another option is to do it in the camera itself. There's a setting APS-C mode, Super 35 mode, crop mode, whatever you want to call it but you can activate that which would give us a field of view the equivalent of 4 150 but what would affect the image is there any effect on the image do you think it would really make any difference whatsoever well here's the image shot in the APS-C mode and as you can see it's just zoomed in a bit now before you ask these were both shot on a tripod remote shutter and back button focus so the focus point is in exactly the same place steady shot was off Again, a nice photo. You can now even zoom into that one, have a look around. All looks very tidy indeed. Now, if you're viewing this on a phone, I will leave a link below to where you can download the full size versions. Now, what if you got back from your trip and you're viewing your, your full size one and you think, hmm, really wish I would have taken that at 450. Imagine this is a beautiful lion that we're looking at here. Oh damn, I wish I'd have done that at 450. Well, you can. I've cropped it here in Lightroom down to a field of view of 450. And as you can see, it's exactly the same one as in camera. But the burning question is, is there any difference between the two? Should you really try and get it done in camera while you're taking the shot or just forget all about it and bring them all back to post and do the trouble there? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's have a pixel peep. Because I all know you love a pixel peep. I love a pixel peep. You love a pixel peep. Let's go for it. Boom. Pixel peep. On the left, Lightroom edited in post. On the right, in camera. Now, I like Lightroom edited in post. And I like in camera. But what's better? There's only one way to find out. Peep! Boom! Okay, initially, first impressions, nothing is blowing my mind. But let's get a little deeper into it before... Ooh, hold on, let's have a look at this guy here. And... Ooh, I'm seeing a touch more detail in the in-camera, you know. Not a lot, but a little. And a little is a lot. Yeah, in the in the in the in the bark of the wood of the tree. Let's carry on. Yeah. Have a look at this antenna here. If you download the full size, have a look at this antenna. And we have got more detail in the in the camera for sure. Yeah, and these guys here, more detail in camera. Would you Adam and Eve it? Would you have called that? Would you have guessed it? Wow, have a little look more around. Oh yes, definitely some more detail. Yeah, wowzers. Let's have a look at these bricks. Forget the exposure difference, by the way, I'm not here to look at that. I'm purely looking at it from a detail level. 
yeah there's more detail in the one in camera there is no doubt about it don't get me wrong from this point and if you're putting these on facebook on the web instagram whatever no one is going to know it's only us geeks that like to zoom in where it's going to make any difference so don't feel shy about getting back and cropping down but certainly if you really do want to maintain all that detail do it in camera at the time and that is today's top SPD TDL top tip use APS-C mode to maintain all detail and as usual guys this one's been hmm, incredibly emotional <laughs>